Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Do you listen to me, guys? Yes? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Good evening, Jocelyn Gabriela, Victor Reyes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Henry. Juan Antonio, hello, Victor, hello, welcome. Hello. Okay. It is nice to have you back in class, okay? So we are going to get started with our session number three today. And let's see, Eduardo is joining. And uh, well, how was your day, guys, at work? Well, I can see that some of you are still at work. Bueno, puedo ver que algunos todavía están en el, en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, Henry and Victor, are, are you at work, Victor? Yes. Está en el trabajo, yes. Victor? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, that's good. Thank you for joining. And thanks for the others. Okay, Jose Palacios is joining right now. Okay, great. So class, let's have a little feedback on what we did yesterday. Hagamos un pequeño repaso de lo que trabajamos ayer, si se recuerdan, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Here, you're going to turn into dictators today. Me van a dictar lo que recuerdan, ¿sí? Bien. Iniciamos, chicos. Let's go over the feedback. El repaso de lo que estudiamos ayer. ¿Qué recuerdan que vimos ayer? ¿Qué actividades hicieron ayer en clase? Hello. Sobre los adverbios. adverbios. Okay. ok, we were working with the adverbs. ¿Ya? Yeah. What kind of adverbs? ¿Qué tipo de adverbios era? Porque hay adverbios de frecuencia, adverbios de tiempo, okay. frequency, excellent. Frequency adverbs. Okay. Adverbs of frequency or frequency words. And one more thing that I have to ask you guys is this, okay? Okay, I'm going to move over here. Algunos de los adverbios de frecuencia o palabras de frecuencia que recuerdan que estuvimos trabajando ayer? Sometimes. Excellent, sometimes. Always. Always. Okay, sometimes, always, great. Sometimes, uh, always, very well. Often, y recuerden Sel que para often, often tenemos dos pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Often or often. Pero en América usualmente eh, decimos often. Okay, uh, uh, seldom, very well. Another one? Oops. Rarely. Uh, rarely. Never. Never, great. Never. Usually. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Excellent. Hardly ever. Este que hemos estado trabajando desde el inicio del curso, ¿verdad? En la conversación. Ok. Otro más. Uh, sometimes, always, often, seldom, or rarely, never, usually, hardly ever. Y había occasionally. Algunos... Occasionally, very well, occasionally. Rarely. Uh, rarely, ya lo tenemos. Pero habían unas expresiones de frecuencia. ¿Se recuerdan cuáles eran? I remember is every day. Excellent. Every day. Every day. Okay. Three times. Every once. week. Ah, day, okay. Every week. Excellent. Every month. Every month. Great. Another one. Every year. Every year. Great class. Okay. Y Three times a day. Ok, pero decimos once a day, for example. And then we have twice. Twice a year. 
twice a day or twice a year. And, pero para decir tres veces decimos three. Three times. Three times a year, for example. Okay. Sí. Muy bien. Excellent. Great. Congratulations, class. We are super, super, super champions. Great. Now I'm going to stop this and I'm going to show my PPT to you. Okay. And here we go. But from here, okay. Let me see if I, okay, great. Because we're going to have a, a feedback since yesterday, right? Este fue el objetivo que uno de ustedes me ayudó a leer, a leer ayer, right? By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using advert of frequency or frequency words. Pero ayer tuvimos una práctica oral, ¿sí? Trabajaron en equipos asking and answering, yes? Orally. And then I share with you this frequency. Uh, okay, uh, Priamet, always 100%, represents 100%. Quiere decir que 100% realizamos esa actividad cuando manifestamos always. Usually 90%, generally 80%, often 70%, sometimes 50%, occasionally 30%, seldom 15%, y algunos eh, grammarians, especialistas de la gramática inglesa, ubican seldom and hardly ever in a 10%, pero los ponen como sinónimos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, and rarely 5%, never 0%, ¿ya? Ok, ¿estamos claros hasta acá? Sí, y van a encontrar otras, otras, uh, otras escalas, pero lo que les dije que always, sometimes y never, siempre se van a mantener al igual que usually con un 90%, ¿sí? Muy bien. Y luego, si se recuerdan, chicos, if you remember, guys, you were working in the breakout rooms in the speaking practice, okay? Because you were asking, how often do you exercise? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? How often do you do any sports activity? How often do you play soccer? How often do you study? How often do you swim? How often do you play video games? How often do you eat pizza? Yeah? And also we watch the video about the structure. Se recuerda que ayer también vimos el video sobre la estructura, ¿sí? de estas oraciones, ¿verdad? Con los frequency adverbs. Luego al final estábamos creando una oración, una pregunta, y ustedes se la hacían a sus compañeros. Yes, and they answer with real information. Al igual que en este ejercicio, ustedes contestaron con su información real, verdadera. ¿Ok? So, said that, guys, we continue. And here we go. We have session three. I need a volunteer in order to help me reading this objective. Please, who's going to be that volunteer? ¿Quién será ese voluntario voluntaria que me va a ayudar a leer el objective for today, session three? Hi. Okay, please. Uh, season three, objective. By the end of the season, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverb or frequency. Thank you, great, excellent. So your classmate has helped us reading the objective for session three. And what is it? It is expected that at the end today, you are going to be able, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using others of frequency. But today we're going to uh, work the writing skill, okay? Because I have a set of questions and you are going to Write the answers with your real information. And later, you are going to go to the breakout rooms in order to ask and answer among yourself. Entre ustedes se van a preguntar luego que hayan contestado individualmente el bloque de preguntas que les presento para que interactúen, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. And here we go. Look at this. This is also a feedback of what we did yesterday. The structure of the sentences. ¿Cómo estructuramos las preguntas? 
For example, how often do you do the dishes? Si se recuerda, escribí este ejemplo con sometimes porque se recuerda que era un caso especial, ¿verdad? Para el orden. I sometimes do the dishes. Sometimes I do the dishes. I do the dishes sometimes. Con este adverbio de frecuencia, nosotros tenemos el caso especial porque tiene tres posiciones diferentes, pero lo demás no. Ok, for example, the structure is for the question, how often? Todas las preguntas para los adverbios de frecuencia iniciarán con how often. Depende del sujeto, vamos a utilizar do o does. Recordemos does para tercera persona de singular, right? Third person singular, he, she, it, que es el subject. El verbo, el complemento y la question mark at the end. Si no tiene el question mark, it is incorrect. Es incorrecto en inglés. En todas las plataformas se los tomarán erróneo porque el signo de interrogación al final is mandatory. Okay? And here we have an example. How often does he play the piano? Fíjense que en el ejemplo primero, how often do you do the dishes? Es con do. Pero en el siguiente ejemplo, how often does he play the piano? Es con das, porque estamos utilizando como sujeto he, ¿verdad? Pero often, ¿ok? How often? He always plays the piano. Él siempre toca el piano. ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar nosotros cuando contestemos esta pregunta? El sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia, el verbo, si es tercera persona de singular, el verbo sufre cambios. Recuerden la regla, la mayoría de verbos para eh, presente simple, tercera persona de singular, se le agrega una S. Usualmente cuando el verbo termina en Y, lo cambiamos, you delete Y, en, ¿y qué le agregamos? ¿Se recuerda a alguien? Yes. Excellent. For example, carry. How often do you carry uh, boxes at work? I never carry boxes at work. How often does she carry boxes at work? She never carries boxes at work. Okay. Pero este es una excepción. ¿Por qué? Porque miren, play termina en Y, que es consonante. A esta consonante le antecede una vocal, pero esa vocal va precedida, le, antes de esa vocal está una consonante. Cuando ese es el caso, no le agregamos IES, ni eliminamos la Y, sino que solo le agregamos la letra S. Lo mismo sucede con el verbo pay, pagar, ¿sí o no? She pays attention. They pay attention. Is that correct? Okay. Questions about this? Preguntas sobre esto? Sobre la estructura? No questions? Sobre la posición de los adverbios? Okay. Recuerden, antes del verbo va el adverbio. Adverbio. Pero Presten atención a lo que les diré, guys. Siempre y cuando el verbo no sea el verbo to be. Porque cuando sucede eso, que okay, está el verbo to be. Les muestro, vean. El adverbio, la posición del adverbio cambia de posición. Entonces, I eliminate this and this. Ok, so here. Look at this. He is always late at work. Él siempre llega tarde al trabajo. Fíjense, como tenemos acá el verbo to be, ¿sí o no? Entonces, después del verbo to be, vamos a ubicar el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Estamos claros? Esa es la diferencia. Con cualquier verbo vamos a ubicar el adverbio de frecuencia antes. Pero cuando tenemos el verbo to be, 
vamos a ubicarlo después del verbo to be. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Ok. Si yo les pregunto, por ejemplo. Mm, um, how often are you happy? How often are you happy? ¿Con qué frecuencia eres feliz? Mañana es 15, ¿verdad? ¿Sí o no? Yes. <laughs> Entonces, you say, I am always, always happy for the payday. For the payday. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Entonces, fíjense acá. I am. Y después del verbo to be, ubicamos el adverbio de frecuencia, ¿sí? Ok, esa diferencia nada más. Do you have any questions so oh. far? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta el momento, chicos? Eh, sí, tengo una. Ok. Eh, en el caso, ahí podríamos estar diciendo de que se podría aplicar esa regla en el caso de pregunta prácticamente respuesta afirmativa. Sí. Ajá, así es. Pero um, veamos acá en negativo. He is never late uh, for work. He, él nunca se va tarde al trabajo. He is never late for work. Acá es negativo, mire. Porque never es un adverbio negativo. ¿Sí? No podemos decir, he isn't never late. No. ¿Por qué? Porque en una oración no pueden ir dos negaciones a la par. No puede decir, he isn't never. Él, él, no, nunca. ¿Verdad que como redundancia suena? ¿Sí? Ok, so we say, he is never late for work. I am never happy for the payday. Or I am sometimes happy for the payday. Yes. Entonces, acá la negación es never. Or she is uh, seldom happy for the payday. Mm -hmm. Porque tiene que pagar todo, entonces, not so happy. <laughs> Our sad reality, right? Nuestra triste realidad. Okay. Any other question? That was a very good question. Thank you. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No? Okay. A medida que vayan teniendo dudas o preguntas, me las hacen saber, ¿verdad? Porque ahí las vamos a ir contestando. And now that we have gone through this, okay, through the structure, we're going to practice. And I have the speaking time. But first, you're going to answer individually these questions, okay? I need you to answer with your real information. How often do you eat junk food? Pero quiero respuestas completas, largas, porque ahí van a practicar ustedes la posición del adverbio. ¿De acuerdo? With your real information. How often do you watch series? How often do you check your social networks? How often do you eat veggies? Veggies is the short form for vegetables, okay? How often do you drink water? Water doesn't have a, a stress, a written stress. I'm going to, okay, to correct this because it doesn't have it. Water, and it is a capital letter missing over here, so ha, okay? And now I'm going to share my full screen for you guys. Okay, over here. So I was telling you, how often do you eat veggies? Veggies is the short form for vegetables. How often do you drink water? How often do you go to the dentist? How often do you go shopping? How often do you go to the supermarket? How often do you read the newspaper? How often do you eat ice cream? 
How often do you go to concerts? How often do you watch horror movies? How often do you watch <gasps> the horror movies? No, two times. How often do you read a book? How often do you drink champagne? And uh, horror movies, now we're going to change one. Okay, instead of uh, horror movies, we're going to maybe over here, let's see, instead of horror movies, we're going to write comedy. Okay, okay. comedy movies, it's better. And now you okay. press your reality, yes, sir? What is junk, junk food? Junk food, the, junk the food. unhealthy food, unhealthy food, you know? Our guilty pleasures, for example, junk food is hamburgers, hot dogs, oh. pizza, uh, yeah. sandwiches, uh, you know, cake, soda, oh, okay. all, all that is the junk food. Uh, and yeah. it is known in Spanish as comida chatarra. Comida chatarra. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Very yes. well. Okay. Okay, my pleasure. And now, uh, champagne. How often do you drink champagne? Champagne. champagne. Yeah, champagne. Okay. How often do you drink champagne? Champagne. How often do you drink champagne? And maybe you say, I I drink champagne once a year. In my Una vez al año. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe in my anniversary, or maybe I drink champagne for Christmas. Graduation. Graduation. Or I always drink champagne in special occasions. Yes? Yes. But full answer, I always, because I need you to practice, okay? So guys, so you want me to share uh, this uh, via WhatsApp? Yes, this is live, or you're going to write it? Are you going to take a screenshot or do you want me to share it via WhatsApp? WhatsApp. ¿Quieren que se lo comparta via WhatsApp? Yes, teacher, please. Okay, but I'm going to diminish this. So here we go. And right now, I'm going to share it via WhatsApp. Let me see here, I think it is, yes. Okay, hold it because this is... Mm, I don't know what happened here if I, I had it. Okay, ready? Okay, it was updating. Okay, guys, there you are. Now tell me if you can see it in the WhatsApp group. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, very well. So here we go. I need you to begin answering these questions individually, okay? And I have a question for you guys. How do you feel better to answer these questions individually right now here in the main session room or in the breakout rooms? Prefieren contestarlas en este momento acá? Por si hay que corregirles algo, tienen alguna duda, o en los breakout rooms. Because it is individual, the answer. Here. Okay. Here, okay. For me here. Uh, okay, okay, go over. Okay. And I'm going to give you three or four minutes so you write your answers, and then we move to the breakout rooms, okay? And you ask and answer these questions. Mm, probably most of you are going to answer never or seldom or hardly ever. In number nine, how often do you read the newspaper? Because for the social network, social media, right? Not so many people read newspapers, but there are some people who still read the newspapers. Okay, let's focus and begin answering, please.
Remember the cameras, activate the cameras. If you have a question or doubt, ask me, please. Maybe I can help you. Una pregunta, teacher. ¿Podemos usar dos adverbios en una misma oración? For example, miss. Eh, por ejemplo, en eh, la pregunta, how often do you watch series? Mm -hmm. Podría contestar, I usually watch series at twice a week. Mm, it is better to use one. Because if you say usually, it means that, remember, it is about 90%. Yes, twice okay. a week. Uh -huh. It could be better if you say twice a week. It means that every week you watch the series two times, okay? Twice, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you say, I usually watch uh, series, it means that you are in the habit at least once or twice a week, but you watch, okay? It is part of your habit. ¿Cuál es el significado de newspaper? La prensa gráfica, el diario de hoy. El gráfico, they are newspapers. Periódicos. Or what we call diarios, but it is periódico, ya. Yeah?
when you finish writing your answers, please uh, tell me, okay? Let me know so we can go over the speaking activity. Finish class. Okay. And the others about two. Finish Jocelyn Gabriela. Yes? Yes. Great. Edward? Edward Ortiz? Finished? Eh, yo digo que sí, porque no estuve anotando nada, sino que al final más. <laughs> no, but remember, I need you to write because you need to practice the correct order. Okay? That was the idea. Okay. And Henry? Finished? Henry Mosun. Where are you, Henry? Finished. Yes, yes. Finished. Okay, great. So now I'm going to stop sharing and you're going to move to the breakout rooms, okay? So you can ask and answer the questions. And here we go. Remember to take turns asking and answering, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Open your eyes big. It has been sent, okay? Join your groups, please. Join your groups. 
and begin the speaking activity. Victor, I need you in group number one. Jose Palacios, please go to group number two. Juan Antonio Osorio, I need you in group number four, if you are so nice. Victor, in group number one, please. Jose Palacios, I need you in group number two. Victor, you need to move to group number one. Victor Reyes. Victor, Victor, do you listen to your teacher? Go to group number one. Victor, necesito que se vaya al grupo número uno. Para la práctica. Hola, Victor, Reyes, me escucha. Victor. Okay, great. Okay, listen, if you want to share your screen, feel free to do it, okay? La imagen con las preguntas las pueden, las pueden compartir. Las hacen y cada quien contesta, okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin with the practice. Okay. Number one, how often? Okay, let's begin with the speaking practice. Who's going to begin asking the questions? ¿Quién va a iniciar haciendo las preguntas? Here I have Dennis and Victor and Claudia. We only have one lady, so she's going to begin reading the questions for both of you. And later, both of you ask her the questions, okay? Probably. Is that okay? Estamos bien con eso. Victor ya tiene sus respuestas. Hola, Victor. Ah, ok. Mientras uh, Victor termina sus respuestas, Claudia le puede hacer la pregunta a Denis y Denis le hace las preguntas a, a Claudia, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, ok, very well. Y luego uno de ustedes le hace las preguntas a, a Victor, ok. O pueden dividirse. Siete y ocho preguntas le hacen a Victor ahí. You decide, ok, bye. Let's begin with the practice. Please. Once a week. I eat junk food three times a week. And you, Catherine? Hi. Uh, I always eat junk. Always. Permitime que no, no, no escucho bien. Tengo un poquito de problemas de señal. Okay. No sé si me escuchan bien. Sí, sí. Yo te escucho. Al final sí se le escuchaba bien, Katherine, pero al principio un poquito con dificultad. Ok, maybe while she, she fix her problems with the connectivity, maybe Jeremia San José, you may interact. Pueden ustedes dos hacerse okay. las preguntas, chicos, mientras Katherine sí. resuelve los problemas de conexión para tomar ventaja del tiempo, ok? Okay. Jeremy, one to okay. one. Una, yo. Hola. Okay. How often do you eat junk food? Uh, I eat junk food three times a week. And you, Adam? How often do you eat junk food? I eat... Um, Once a week, it's a Once a week. June food. Uh, second question, how often do you watch a series? I usually in my free time. I usually watch. I usually watch. Uh-huh, series? In my free time. 
in my free time. Okay. I sometimes watch a series. Yeah? Yes. Hello. Okay, yeah. So, because Jose okay. Palacios, sometimes... you have to ask the question to Jeremias also, uh, okay? Uh, mm. of Henry. Uh, I, I, I always see why every day. I want moment, I want moment. I want um hour, hour, every hour. hour. Every hour. Every hour. What? Yes. And you, Henry? It's why every day, because it's I don't die. I drink water every day. Yes. Okay. Every day, every day. Okay, excellent. I I drink five times in a, in a day, but a lot of because it's healthy and for my for my looks. Okay, and your kidneys, your kidneys, los riñones. Ah, sorry. Kidneys. Yes, for my kidneys, yes. And also because the weather is very hot, yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very well. Okay. Continue. The next is, how often do you go to the dentist? I preach, I uh, go to the dentist. I two. go to the dentist three times a year or two times a year? Two, two, two times a year. Okay. I go to the dentist two times a year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I go to the dentist uh, five times a year. Oh, very good for the for the cleaning. Yes, for the cleaning okay, or the great. business. Okay, that's good. And you, Henry? Uh, I go once a week. Once a week. School. Una vez a la semana al dentista. Yes. Really. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's because you have it's money. You yours. have money. No, no, it's because it's a yours and, and that yours is beautiful. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes to yeah. visit the nurse, the doctor's nurse. nurse. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a good strategy. Okay. Continue Thank with you. the question. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 The next is. How often do you? Okay. Did you finish yeah. asking all the questions? La verdad ya. que nos hemos estado haciendo así, este. Ah, okay, nada. that's why, I, uh, yes, because in all the groups they are following the order and I was like, oh. When I listen, they are done. Okay, continue. Okay. I would like to okay. listen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Antonio, how often do you go to the dentist? Uh, I, I rarely visit to the dentist. Okay. I rarely visit the dentist. I rarely. Excellent. Okay. But remember, you need to go at least once or twice a year, yeah? For your own good. For nuestro beneficio. A futuro. For the future. To, okay, to be healthy. For, okay. It is good. At least once. Okay. Because nobody likes to go to the dentist, right? A nadie le gusta ir donde el dentista, but it is a must. Okay, continue. Okay, um, Eduardo. Sí. How often do you check your social networks? I check my social network every day. Okay. Every day, every moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
okay. Yeah, we have become addicted, yes, to the social yes. networks. Yeah, yes. okay. Continue, please. Sorry for the Jocelyn. interruption. Okay. No problem. Jocelyn. Um, how often do you go to uh, concert? I never go concerts. Never. Okay. And how often do you watch series? I rarely watch series. Uh, once uh, a week. I usually eat on pizza. Me puede preguntar la dos, yo la tres y se la cuatro. Ahí sí. Eh, how often do you watch series? Uh, I usually watch series. Uh, dice la siguiente how often do you check your social social network I how often do you eat biggies I sometimes eat it be veggies. Um, la cinco dice, how often do you drink water? Uh, I usually drink water. Uh, uh, how often do you go to dentists? Dentists. Once a month, you go to the dentist. Last year, they say, How often do you go to the shopping? How often? Do I once a month in the supermarket. I go to the supermarket once a month. Recuerden que esas, esas frases eh, van al final. I go to the supermarket once a month. See? ¿Sí? I go to the supermarket every day, for example. I go to the dentist eh, every month, every year, twice a year. Pero si ya usamos de las otras frequency words, I always go to the dentist. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Yes. Sorry for the interruption. La nueve dice, how often do you read the newspaper? I never read the newspaper. Very well. Claudia, do you have the other question? Claudia, hello. Eh, la pregunta de dice, how often do you eat ice cream? With my uh, 
friends. Sometimes. Sometimes. Next question. Uh -huh. Next, uh, um, how often do you watch comedy movies? Hola. Hola. Hello. I am usually, usually watch a comedy movie. Yes. I I usually I usually I usually mm -hmm. okay in my case I often watch comedy movies. Okay. How often do you read a book? I never read a book. And you, Palacios? How often do you read a book? I uh, usually on weekends. Weekends. Patterning? I generally read a book. Rarely. Okay. And and the last one. Uh, how often do you drink champagne? Uh, and you, and you, Henry. And, you, and me, equally never, 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 never drink champagne. It's a really teacher. Do, Not even the teacher. Citra. Do you do you believe? Uh -huh. Do you believe it? That, that Henry they, never, they don't, they don't like that they, champagne. No, <laughs> I don't think so. In a, in a special <laughs> occasions, for example, in a wedding, in yes. Vacation, ah. yes. Uh -huh. in vacation. For, for a graduation, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. just, a, just a little soda. bit, a little bit, but a little bit. And it is not a real champagne, but it is kind of a, like a sidra. <laughs> yes, vodka. that people get. Oh, they don't drink champagne, they drink vodka. Okay, great, great. You finish. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, guys, did you finish all the questions? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Great, because it is almost the time to say goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Henry, Bye. Henry, Henry Bye. how Henry, how often do you drink a uh, Coke? How I only often? I only see watch they uh, take it. No, no, listen, Henry. How often do you drink Coke? Hey, Henry. Coca. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. It's, how it's often? My how often? I, I, I like. Yes, you like always, it, but how always? Of, always? No, how often? drink more water, please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but people say no, but the soda has water. No, it's delicious. Water, it's like delicious. But, <laughs> but a bomb for the body. Okay, let's get back to the main session room, please. Okay. okay thank okay. you for your practice. That was good we'll practice. Okay, I have a question for, let's see, Eliseo. Eliseo, how often do you go to the beach? Well, I go to the beach uh, three times in a year. Three times in a year, okay, very well. Now I ask you guys, how often does Eliseo go to the beach? What is the answer? If I ask you, how often does Eliseo go to the beach? He goes to the beach. Uh -huh. He goes three to the times, beach. Three times. Three times a, a year. year. Very well. Excellent. Jocelyn, how often do you eat fruit? I usually eat fruit in my job. Okay. Class, how often does Jocelyn eat fruit? She? she usually. Usually? Eats. Excellent. Eats fruit at work. Very well. I have a question for, 
let's see, uh, Dennis. Dennis Palacios, I have a question for you. Okay, uh, okay. How, how often do you, um, do you watch videos in YouTube? How often? Videos in YouTube? Uh-huh, how often do you watch videos in YouTube? Uh, I watch the videos every day. Okay. Maybe. Now, class, how often does Dennis watch videos in YouTube? He? He watches. No, uh-huh, he watches he, he, videos? He watches videos in YouTube every day. Every day, very well. So you are reporting. And I have one more. Uh, Juan Antonio, I have a question for you. How often do you write emails? How often do you write emails? Emails. I, the, the microphone. Antonio, the microphone, activate the microphone, please. I usually write using write. I usually write write email. Excellent, very well. Now class, how often does Juan Antonio write emails? He, he usually re writes, reads, writes, writes uh, emails, uh, very well. So what did we practice today? Questions with frequency? Of the frequency time. adverbs, frequency adverbs, yes? And now I tell you, how often do you work in the English platform? ¿Con qué frecuencia trabajan en la plataforma? Every day, okay. Yes. I expect that you have been working, okay? Hey class, it's time to say goodbye. But it was a, a productive class. You practice a lot today and yesterday, okay? So please try to be on time if it is possible for you, okay? I'm going to be waiting for you at 8 p.m. tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Tomorrow. And remember, continue working in the learning platform, okay? With the homeworks. Okay. Tomorrow what? Tomorrow we have to be here in class. Yes. Tomorrow there is class. Okay. Yes, yes, there is a class. Yes or no? Yes, there okay. is a class tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, but we need to be here, okay? Bye-bye. Have a good Bye. night. Sleep well. Bye, teacher. Sleep tight, sweet dreams. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Blessings. Thanks for joining to the class. Work in the platform, please. Bye bye. Bye, Abel. Bye, Juan Antonio. My teacher, good night. It was bye. a pleasure. Likewise, good night. Have a good night. Have a good night, Juan Antonio. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, likewise. When I say likewise, igualmente, okay? Likewise. See you. Until you disconnect your camera, I'm going to close the class. <laughs> okay. I need you to turn off the camera. Necesito que la cámara se desactive. Okay. Bye.